Hey guys, today you guys are going to be getting ready with me for my senior year winter formal dance and I'll be showing you my hair, makeup, and outfit that I wore that night. Before I curl my hair, I'm applying my Tresemme heat tamer spray so my hair won't get damaged by the heat. And then I'm applying my Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Oil with Argan Oil to make my hair shinier and more moisturized and control the frizz at the end of my hair. All I do to curl my hair is just curl my hair backwards with my Conair 3 quarters of an inch curling iron. And it's pretty simple. I don't do anything special. We go down together. Get away with everything. Show them we are better. We were staying in Paris to get, get away from your parents. parents, and you're so proud. Standing there with a flower and a cigarette, posting pictures of yourself on the internet. Out on the terrace, I'm repeating the error of this small town. On our own, could pass for the thrill of it. Getting drunk on the bus we were living in. If we go down, then we go down together. They'll say we could do anything. They'll say that I. If you've been watching this from the very beginning, you're probably getting really bored just watching me curl my hair for like ever. So I'm going to show you what really happens when I get ready. And I'm pretty sure like 99.9% .9 of girls do this too. <laughs> So there was me singing and dancing along to songs and I just love doing that when getting ready because it gets me so pumped up. Say you could do anything, they'll say that I was clever. If we go down, then we go down together. We'll get away with everything, we'll show them we are better. We were staying in Paris. And now I'm finally done curling my hair, so I'm going to do a waterfall braid. And I actually had my mom do it for me because I get too stressed out if it doesn't come out perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys how we did that. First you're going to separate your hair into three strands and then you're going to begin braiding your hair like a regular braid but only do that one time and then after that you're going to add a piece to the top strand and braid it over like a french braid but then instead of adding a piece to the bottom piece you're going to drop the bottom strand. It sounds complicated, it kind of is but... That's what we're doing right here. And then you're just going to repeat the whole process on the other side of your hair. I can see your hurt. Once you're done waterfall braiding both sides, you're gonna join them in the middle of your hair in the back. And this is the finished product of the waterfall braid. Excuse my frizzy hair, I still haven't hairsprayed it yet. Now that my hair is done, it's time for makeup! To start off, I'm taking my e.l.f. eyelid primer to prime my eyelids before I do eyeshadow. And then after I'm rubbing that all in and getting my Naked 3 Urban Decay eyeshadow palette and getting the color Limit and applying that to my crease. And I'm taking my time to blend that all in because that is my base for my eyeshadow. After I'm going in with the color Nooner and also applying that to my crease lightly and blending that all in. And I'm also going to go down and apply Nooner to the outer corner of my eyelid. Taking the color Factory, I'm going to apply that to my crease as well and also down in my outer corner of my eyelid. Going in with the color Dark Side, I'm applying that to my crease and outer corner of my eyelid like I have been doing with the past colors. 
I'm taking a little bit of black heart because that's literally all you need to make it stand out and applying that to my crease and my outer corner of my eyelid. I'm switching over to my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette and taking the color Creme Brulee and applying that to my eyelid. Now taking my blending brush, I'm going to blend that all in. I'm applying my Stila Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and also creating a little wing with it. And I apologize for not being in frame because it's already not easy to do it off camera, let alone on camera. So I think you guys can feel my struggle. I totally forgot to do this earlier, but I'm taking Strange and applying that to my brow bone to give it a little bit of highlight. And now I'm curling my eyelashes before I put my fake eyelashes on. And I didn't record putting my eyelashes on because it's hard for me to do that on camera. Moving on to my face, I'm taking my Laura Mercier foundation and applying that all over my face and the color I use is bamboo beige please excuse my ugly faces that I'm making while I'm putting my foundation on I don't know if it's just me that does that when I'm doing my makeup but I think it's so funny I'm using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer to conceal my blemishes, and this is my all-time favorite concealer ever. I'm going to apply my Laura Mercier setting powder all over my face, and I'm just doing this with like patting motions. And then I decided halfway through this that I wanted to try to bake my face for the first time. I've never done it before, so obviously I'm doing it wrong. But I don't even care because my makeup stayed on all night. So maybe it did help. You never know, but I look really funny right now. After about 5 to 10 minutes, I blended my powder into my face and I was good to go. I'm applying some black eyeliner into my lower waterline with a black eyeliner pencil. Taking my waterproof CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara, I'm applying that to my bottom eyelashes. And I already applied some contour to my cheeks, but I'm just making sure it's all blended in right now. I'm applying my MAC lipstick in the color Viva Glam 2 to my lips. After my lipstick, I'm applying my lip gloss in the color Boy Bait to my lips as well. And this is a finished makeup look and I just want to tell you guys that I'm not a professional makeup artist so it's not the greatest but I like how it came out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!